This tutorial is on hourly rate and overtime rate. A common way to be paid is by an hourly rate. In Ontario, the Employment Standards Act says employers must begin paying overtime after 44 hours in a week. Many jobs start paying overtime for less than 44 hours in a week. 40 is quite common, but not the only uh, time when number of hours when overtime starts. Overtime must be at least time and a half or 1.5 times the regular rate. Sometimes overtime is double time or even more uh, depending on the situation. It's fairly common for working holidays for example to be at a double time rate. And the first of a couple of examples uh, on the second page here. Example 1, Melanie works at a convenience store and is paid $12.80 per hour. She works eight hours per day, five days per week. And so uh, we're asked in A, what are her regular weekly earnings? So we can take the number of hours she works in a day and the number of days she works per week to find how many hours she will work in a week. So we would take the eight hours and multiply it by the number of days because she's working eight hours for each of five days. So if you, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could go eight for like Monday plus eight for Tuesday plus eight for Wednesday plus eight for Thursday and you could do that five times and that will give you 40 but that is the same as eight times five. So 40 hours is the number of hours she's working in a week. Now each of those 40 hours she's paying being paid twelve dollars and eighty cents. So we would take that 40 and multiply it by the hourly rate of pay by the 12.8 and that will give five hundred and twelve dollars. So when Melanie works for 40 hours in a week she is making five hundred and twelve dollars. In the second example or a part here of this example it says one week Melanie works 48 hours. She gets paid time and a half for hours over 40. What are her earnings this week? So her she earns $512 for the first 40 hours. That's what we calculated in A. So all we really need to do is figure out how much she's getting paid for that last eight hours. Uh, the eight hours from 40 to 48. So if we, uh, we're going to calculate the overtime rate, the overtime rate of pay. So we would take the 1280 she earns per hour and if she's being paid time and a half we multiply that by 1.5. So if we take uh, $12.80 times, whoops, yeah, times 1.5, then she's making 19.2 or $19.20 per hour for the overtime work. So that's her overtime rate. For the eight hours of overtime, she's making $19.20 per hour. So now to calculate the overtime earnings, we would take that 1920 and multiply it by the number of hours of overtime she's working. She's working eight hours of overtime. And again, the eight hours is the hours from 40 to 48. So if we multiply 1920 by eight, she gets paid $153.60 for the overtime part. So her total earnings. We would add the regular earnings, the $512 for the first 40 hours, and her overtime earnings. So we're adding the $512 and the $153.60. And so if we add those, that gives you $665.60. So that's how much she's making when she works 40 hours in a week. Now before we go on to the last example, uh, I want to show you a calculation for B here. And this is what you would often see on a pay stub. On the pay stub, they often won't actually show the overtime rate. What they'll do is they'll take your number of hours of overtime. Remember she worked eight hours of overtime? And they'll actually multiply that by one point, the 1 1.5 instead of the hourly rate. So working eight hours of overtime then is the same as being paid for 12 regular hours. So if you take her 40 hours she worked at the regular pay and add the number of overtime hours, so this um, 48 hours of pay, 40 at a regular rate and then 8 at the overtime rate, is the same as working 52 regular hours. And if you take that 52 and multiply it by the $12.80, 
and this is the kind of thing you'll often see a pay stub, there's the 66560. So that's the kind of thing you'll often see in the pay stub, how they actually put it on your pay stub, do the calculation. So on to the last example. Uh, in this last one, uh, Bob earns thirteen seventy-five per hour at his job. Uh, if he works more than 44 hours, he gets paid time and a half. Joe is paid twelve forty per hour and is paid time and a half when he works more than 35 hours in a week. So we're asked, who makes more if they both work 40 or 50 hours in a week? So let's calculate the regular earnings. So Bob makes thirteen seventy-five an hour. Uh, for the first 44 hours. So we multiply that by 44 and his regular earnings before any overtime is uh, $605. Joe is paid $12.40 an hour for the first 35 hours. So we multiply $12.40 by 35 because he gets overtime up to the end of the 35th hour and then after that he gets, uh, sorry, he gets regular pay up to 35 hours and then overtime past that. So he makes $4.34 if he works 35 hours a week. So let's calculate the overtime rate of pay for each of these people now. So Bob's is thirteen seventy-five per hour, so we multiply that by 1.5. And so when he's earning the overtime rate, he's actually making $20.63 an hour. So let's do the same for Joe. So we take his twelve forty and we'll multiply it by 1.5. And so Joe is making eighteen sixty an hour, of course smaller than Bob's because his hourly rate of pay is lower. So the number of overtime hours. Now Bob gets paid regular wages up to 44 hours. So after that we go up to 50. See that's six hours from 44 to 50. So he's going to have six hours at the overtime rate and Joe gets paid overtime after 35 hours. So 35 to 50 if we uh, do that subtraction 50 take away 35 so Joe is actually going to earn overtime for 15 hours altogether. Notice that their regular earnings uh, are there's quite a difference. Uh, $605 compared to 434. So if they work the regular work week without any overtime, Bob's making quite a bit more. So now we're going to calculate the overtime earnings. So Bob is going to be paid 2063 for each of these six hours. So we multiply those. And his uh, overtime earnings is going to work out to $123.78. When you do that calculation, uh, and it's money, so that's why we round to uh, okay. It actually comes out to exactly that. I did want to show the uh, calculation over here for the 2063. I did forget about that. Let me just uh, stick this in here. When we multiply that by 1.5. It works out to 20.625, and it's money, so we're going to round, to, that's the number, that's the cents. So the 5 makes that 2 round up to a 3, and that's why it's 63 cents. Um, so on a pay stub, for example, they would only go to cents, they wouldn't go past that. Uh, Joe here is making uh, 18.60 for each of his 15 overtime hours, so we multiply 18.60 by 15. And we'll see that his overtime pay, or earnings, is considerably higher than Bob. So because of that, he's actually catching up quite a bit because he's making uh, uh, a higher rate of pay for a lot more hours. So to get the total earnings, we would add this 605 and the overtime. So Bob makes 728.77. And for Joe, we'd add this 434 and the 279. And so he's making 713. So Bob is making more. But Joe was actually caught up considerably, uh, caught up uh, uh, past the uh, the regular part here. So Bob, but Bob is still making more when they work 50 hours in a week. And that's the end of the tutorial.